In the midst of the union disputes, that has been declared by World of Constitutional Force Major since uh, December of 2020. We saw the outcome of uh, the election we plunged onto, leaving the dispute unresolved, degenerating into where trucks carrying food were prevented from crossing into the south from the north. The governor, I think it was in Niger State or somewhere there, was saying that uh, they have to keep everything they have for themselves. That's one, that's the front side of the story. The back side of the story is that uh, there is a north and there is a south. We know all the uh, delineations, uh, the middle belt that uh, is now being presented as north and we also know that there was never a single southern administration in the sense that the, the north had under the northern region of the time. The words of concern to us here is uh, the fact that we are caught in a union where we are, our hands and legs are tied to the back by people who then turn around to uh, take advantage of uh, what they've created. Yes, food production, there could be land mass, wonderful. But it doesn't end, it doesn't start and end, it doesn't start and end with land mass. If we go back to the regions before 66, Eastern region was leading. Malaysia, all those Asian tigers came to copy from what the Eastern region of the time was doing under M.I. Opera. Even concerning agriculture, it was from, it was from Eastern region that the uh, uh, palm seedlings were taken uh, to start what has become uh, the leading global uh, palm oil producer, Malaysia, today. And so, this north, we are, we are, we are, we are digging, we are, we, are, we are cutting through the layers of pretenses to the core of what we are up against. Starvation as weapon of war, laying siege and trying to pressure a population into submission by starvation and all kinds of other shenanigans relating to food. Let us remember, look at this map, let us bear at every point in time our gauge for measuring is this map and what happens, because we're talking about lands and peoples, what's going on on those lands. That north that built irrigation systems for themselves using money from the treasury of uh, the south. That north that did all kinds of arrangements about fertilizer for themselves to the exclusion of everybody else. Otherwise, tell me who else has been part of managing fertilizer business here in Nigeria other than that north. That north, even as recent as a Mefele headship of a central bank that constantly took money from the treasury to give to farmers to go and perform miracle all in the name of a guaranteeing food, se food security for all of us that north that went to bring terror infested our forests with uh, terror full and that had been brought in from 16 different countries all over the place. So they rendered our farmers incapable of carrying on with farming because, you know, they, 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 somebody was waiting there to kill you in the forest. Their brothers and, you know, our cousins who are controlling the armed forces of Nigeria, they wear the uniform, stay at the front while the atrocity is going on right behind them. Ask the, the Methodist... Uh, uh, prelate, or uh, you know, the one, the one they kidnapped uh, in uh, some place in Abia or Kigwe area. He, the military checkpoint was there. Find out who was the command, the, the local command, and they were doing the kidnap. Everywhere you see kidnapping business uh, in those uh, stretches that uh, they become endemic. You go look around, you will see no less than no, no, no more than two, 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 two minutes maneuver. Whether you are trekking or it could, it could even be trekking, not, not even driving. 
you will see the military or police checkpoint that is the cover, and that's when you bring uh, the ransom, that's where it is shared. So we're saying that these people deliberately made it impossible for others to farm. Because if, if your forests and farmlands are rendered so dangerous deliberately by the people who do not want you to farm, and then suddenly they load the, 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 the you can no longer sell uh, to, to, to anybody. We, you, we're just, we're all in this act, in these uh, stupid actions, and I repeat, stupid actions hastening the demise of uh, the Nigeria that was already bleeding to death by itself. And nobody is bothered about Nigeria. We're only saying the process of managing the terminal stages of the failed Lugadian experiment, experiment of 1914. We have a plan on the table for how to go to resolve what can be resolved so that people can take their portions and uh, begin to feed their people and do other things they can do for themselves. Nigeria has become a liability that the constituent components can no longer carry. Unitary Nigeria has become a liability that the constituent components of Nigeria can no longer carry. And when we put everybody on the map, where they come from, what they are doing, in what, in, in, for what motive, and against who, we will see clearly the same picture emerging of orchestrations by one side against the other in a manner that renders a union impossible. A federation is supposed to be a symbiosis enhancing the livelihoods of uh, those federating. But if it becomes a toxic, uh, what do you call it, uh, when <coughs> parasitism, toxic parasitism. That's what Nigeria has become. For those whose oil and gas are to be taken forcefully and shared to people who normally will have no stake in a federation in that asset. Where taxes are collected in one part and shared lavishly to those who do not pay, who, do not, who, who, who actually reject productive uh, ventures that could lead to tax. They don't drink beer, but they take money from the ones who they get drunk. So in all of it, let us, this deceit will only result in more disaster. Everybody can feed themselves if we remove the shackles. This consumer arrangement that one part is clinging to with all their might. Look at this map. The alliance of the rest of Nigeria already agreed that this document is not serving them any purpose. But the ones who embraced Sharia and stepped away into their own, uh, just uh, seceding from the secular union we thought we were building, are clinging tenaciously to that. Uh, unfortunately for us, there are, there are, you know, renegades from the alliance territories that joined them in holding on to that, swearing to defend and uphold that uh, constitution. There must be an end to buffoonery, to this, to this, to this stupidity. It's plain stupid, hoping to keep Nigeria by force. It's not going to work. And if you doubt me, get on Google, search the title, Nigeria's Unity in the Balance. So Nigeria's Unity in the Balance. I repeat, Nigeria's Unity in the Balance. So that you can hear what the US military that took time to investigate what we're saying about what is happening with Nigeria, what they reported to their government, 60 report. Yes, that report by the U.S. Army War College in Pennsylvania in the period leading to 2013, I think it was June 2013, at the time we were, you know, uh, consulting with uh, international stakeholders in the affairs of Nigeria, the owners of, uh, you know, Chevron and Mobile and Halliburton and all the others, uh, you know, to say, look, this is what's uh, going on uh, in our space that could become uh, a little more problematic so you can understand it. And then they began to investigate it because uh, the Washington of the time was busy, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, chasing after other things. So the military listened and told Washington to get ready to deal with this uh, matter. They said that they described what we were doing as uh, 
centrifugal forces that uh, wanted to dismantle for reconstruction the union that was imposed on all of us by Britain centrifugal and they said that those who are trying to dismantle for reconstruction have become stronger and better organized than the ones who are trying to keep Nigeria won by force if anybody has seen what Ninas has done in this period, in the, in the time we are, you know, uh, uh, presently in, go to that report, you will then understand how we got here, that there was a conscious effort by those who are the victims of uh, this invasion by that caliphate that has now progressed all the way to let us staff them, let us show them we can keep them with our food. You lay siege to our land, you arm yourself in monopoly against us, you seize all our economic assets, you, you, you seize all the powers to work those economic assets. I have coal, I can't generate electricity. I have uh, you know, uh, uh, crude oil, I can't uh, refine any part of it for my I can't generate even, my, uh, there's nothing I can do for myself. I can't do my roads in the highways. Uh, I can't do my road work. I have the body of water, you know, I can't build my own ports and operate my own uh, you know, systems in the manner that would have worked better for me because you took everything and bunched into you know, uh, 68 items that now are exclusive to you. I can't organize my security because arms and ammunition, uh, you know, you, you hold such in monopoly. And you think it's going to, you, they, 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 then you begin to parcel it out. Uh, you go and do this, you go and do that. Then go, go and refine for them. Uh, I think you go and do Intel uh, in Orne and they run the port for them. All kinds of nonsense everywhere you look. That's why nothing is working. It's not sustainable. The earlier we stop, and come back to our senses, the better. Put up it there. <clears throat>